know anything about wine? A little. You're a lifesaver. I'm Chris. Sky. Two sudden adventures. Two sudden adventures. I thought Shattered was a lot of fun, and you did an incredible job in it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a wild ride, huh? It's it's um, it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. It is. It's very it's it's fun and stressful at the same time. Yeah. But it's yeah. It's a good way a good way to describe it, I think. And yeah. uh, it, it's it's very dark, and uh, you know, it's kind of like a thriller, and has some horror elements as well, without really giving anything away. But I also kind of think it's funny, and maybe yeah. that I just have a dark sense of humor, and 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 we did when we were making it, but we were we were laughing at a lot of stuff, and 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 thinking, oh man, that's crazy. It is. No, it is. <laughs> so I hope, yeah, I hope people find find the humor in it because it's um, I, I I we we had fun making it. Yeah, no, it definitely has humor, which thank God because it it's kind of like a, a, a stress reliever in between. Yeah. yeah. But uh, obviously in this film, so so Chris falls for Sky very quickly, like, and he trusts her so fast. And I think there's a lot of reasons why he does. But I was wondering from your perspective, why do you think he is so quick to trust Sky and let her in so soon? Well, I mean, first of all, Chris is kind of going through a bit of a existential crisis upon when we meet him, uh, he's going through a divorce and he's losing custody of his kid. And he's not in the best uh, frame of mind. And I do think that uh, Sky is without giving too much away. She's taking advantage of that. And also I think that Chris is kind of in that place where he's looking for someone to just like idealize and, and just accept and kind of bring them into your life and just be like, you're my solution for all of my problems, you know? Um, and not that I, they, they don't have some form of genuine connection because mm -hmm. it seems like these characters do. Yeah. Um, but that being said, I think that he's definitely too quick to jump into it. I mean, as we find out in the movie, very obviously. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, unfortunately he's not fully perceiving her for the person she is, regardless of uh, whether or not she had some dark secrets and skeletons in her closet, which she most certainly does. Right, right. And they're in their chance encounter, uh, mm -hmm. you know, she pulls him in by asking re what recommended, re what wine he recommended. Mm -hmm. And obviously he's a wine expert, but I was wondering in real life, um, what are you an expert of or a big fan of that people would ask your recommendation for? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um, I mean, I'm a massive movie buff. I'm a big film fan. Um, you know, I, I specifically, um, I love movies from the 60s and 70s. I'm a big fan of um, like French New Wave and that kind of stuff. Um, I like old film noir as well. Uh, so I, I'm kind of like, I feel like movies I can talk about all day, any day. Um, also kind of similar to red wine. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love whiskey. I'm a huge whiskey oh. fan, specifically scotch. So I can talk scotch all day. That's, that's, that's definitely a favorite for me. Oh, okay. That's good. So are you like a whiskey club member kind of person? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not in one specific whiskey club, but, yeah. uh, you know, I am club familiar. <laughs> Great. Good to know. Um, it's but, a little bit Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, I also look at this film as sort of a, a bit of a cautionary tale, like with be careful who you trust. Do you think there's ever a way to differentiate who you can trust and who you shouldn't? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, with time, people uh, reveal themselves to be who they actually are. And I think in, in nine times out of 10, usually whatever assumptions or biases you have with a person in reality, they're, uh, they're better than, than what you might assume them to be. People have a way of usually revealing good parts of themselves. And, and over time, usually that's a, a level of trust and intimacy and, and, and all of that that you find with people. And that's usually a very positive thing. However, there's that, you know, small percentage of people that you meet that upon meeting them, you think, oh, wow, this person's great. And then you find out some things that uh, you don't necessarily like so much about that person. Yeah. And it's like this movie is really just taking that idea to the absolute logical ex extreme, because I think that everyone does have a fear of, 
you know, having feelings for a person and them not necessarily being with you for the right reasons or not reciprocating these feelings, you know, right. it's just usually that that person doesn't um, tie you to a chair and um, <laughs> exact some form of revenge against you. <laughs> right, right. No, it's, it's, it's scary. Even in general, when you get into a relationship, it's always scary if you can trust that if it's real or not. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I think it's it's that core that really is is something that uh, appealed to me about the story and, and about mm -hmm. these characters and um, kind of is was the driving idea behind a lot of it, um, even though obviously it goes so much further than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, then, after working on this film, what is the key to getting out of a hostage situation? Oh, boy, I am not the person to ask about <laughs> that. I would be dead so fast. Oh. If I was in a hostage situation. Oh, man, I would like. I, I would I would I would start talking back. I would complain about like I'd be like, hey, can you like turn the AC down? If you, <laughs> you know, like I, I would be dead immediately without a doubt. So yeah, don't ask me on that one. <laughs> I'd probably be dead too. Otherwise, I'd try the like, I don't think I can manipulate. I can't do it. I just <laughs> <not>. <laughs> but um well I was hoping to do a little game with you, a sure. kind of rapid fire related uh questions to the film. Um just when you answer them. Just say why you uh, chose this answer. So, okay. Okay. Well, would you rather give recommendation for wine or for a security system? Wine, because I know absolutely nothing about <laughs> security systems. All right. Um, would you rather have your leg drilled into or have your thumb cut off? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, leg, because I feel like that would heal. And also, like, the, the, if it was any other finger but thumb, I'd probably be cool with it. But, you know, like, thumb is like, you, you need that. You, video games, thumb wars, like, there's so many uses for thumbs. <laughs> That's true. I wasn't, I figured it was, like, a quicker, like, cut but maybe you're right maybe you're right That's i mean it's it's what makes people people you know it's the opposable dumb so i yeah. I, I, need that. I need that yeah that's true would you rather have an advanced security system like the watchdog app or an old school with just regular alarm system no camera uh yeah i mean sure i'll go fancy watchdog why not if it works yeah. Um, I don't think I would do the thing though, where you can like remotely lock and unlock the doors and all of that. That, that seems a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> Not in every that. movie that like turns out to be like the worst thing for you. Yeah. No, that's happen. never, that's never a benefit. That's never good for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So who do you think would win a showdown between Sky and Jerome Velasca? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go with Jerome. I mean, that guy was just like nearly indestructible in how much uh, punishment he could he could take i mean he got his face cut off and he was still just going full force i, I don't think uh i think he, he would do well against pretty much anybody <laughs> just from sheer force of will alone that, that being said sky's pretty tough sky's, yeah. sky's quite quite tough but you know i i don't know i i mean i, I maybe i'm biased on this one but i'm gonna have to give it to drone I think so too. I was thinking, I was like, man, if this is Jerome right now, he would have caught on to her before and like <laughs> twisted and been like, I've knew, I've known the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I, but uh, Chris is was not that cynical, you know. He's uh, <laughs> he's a little bit more naive on these matters. Yeah, no. Um, and the final uh, game question here is: It's not a would you rather, but I found myself yelling at the characters a lot. I tend to do that with these like thrillers and scary movies, just like wanting to help them and had wanting to listen. Uh, what's a film that you remember talking to the most? Just yelling at the characters and being like, "Listen to me." Uh, uh, I always do that with Fargo. Fargo is one okay. of those movies where they're, they're just in, they're in these situations that I'm just like, oh no, just just don't do it, just don't do it, man, just don't do it. Th that, there's that scene when when the police officers pull over uh, um, uh, Peter Stormare and uh, Steve Buscemi, and that 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 entire scene just makes me cringe because it's just so uh it's so skin skin crawlingly like awful of like we know what's about to happen and it feels like so inevitable and, and unavoidable that's just yeah it's brutal yeah it's funny how even when you've already watched that movie over you can still find yourself being like hoping the some outcome will change that they'll listen absolutely to you like, yeah, absolutely. But I, I almost I almost feel like that's what that movie is about to a certain degree. It feels like it, it's sort of like dealing with the, the inevitability of bad luck. Um, and I, I think that there's something amazing that it can like elicit that response from the viewer.
I saw something on the news. Lisa! It's your roommate. Scott, you should probably contact the police. That would be stupid of me. Why? Expecting a package? How's the knee, dude? I do good work, don't I? Everything goes, lover boy. Stripping down to the studs. All of this was a setup. Now you're catching on. Sky, you are a very naughty girl. It's scary, right? I need all your passwords and security code. Uh, What's your mother's maiden name? Uh, uh, mother's maiden name. Uh, uh, are you going to get Chris or you want me to call the police? He's right here. Daddy! What did he want? <laughs> Stay back. Afraid of the dark? I love the dark.